everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the twisted cable beanie, which is this hat that you see here in front of you. This is a beanie that has tons and tons of texture. Uh, and it really is a favorite hat of mine. It does have a lot of cabling in it, but uh, don't worry, hopefully with this video tutorial, you'll be well on your way to working them. This is week five of the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along, and if you're joining me for that, welcome. If you are new to the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along, you can find all the information about it, including the other hats that we've done so far, in the description of this video. Also in the description of this video, you will find the link for the free written crochet pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Today, for this hat pattern, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook, along with one and a half, almost, balls of the Patton's Canadian Anna yarn. Uh, shown here in cherished pink, I'm going to be working in the oatmeal color. Uh, the Patton's Canadian yarn is a worsted weight acrylic yarn, and there's about 200 yards in the ball. Uh, so if you're looking to substitute, you're going to want uh, about 300 yards um, for this project. Again, all the details for your materials can be found in the description of this video. I've put a faux fur pom-pom on the top of mine, but you can leave yours without or else you can uh, add a yarn one. It's up, really up to you. So thank you again for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's get started. So today for our hat, we are going to begin by working from the bottom up. So we're going to work down here at this ribbing, this brim of the hat. I'm again working with the Patton's Canadiana uh, in the oatmeal color today. You're going to start by making a slip knot and the brim of this hat is worked in rows. So what you're going to do is you're going to begin by chaining eight. Once you have your eight chains made, you're going to begin by slip stitching into the second chain from hook and in each stitch all the way across. If you do not like the slip stitch, I prefer to make my brims with slip stitches because I find uh, they have a good stretch and they all the brims always come back together so they don't stretch out as much. But if you prefer to work in a different stitch, you can use a single crochet stitch or a half double crochet. So for this row, we're just slip stitching in that second chain from your hook and in each across, you'll have seven slip stitches at the end of this row. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work in the back loop only. So if you take a look at the top of your stitch, you will see these nice little V's here. Your back loop only is the horizontal bar of that V that is the furthest away from you. So you're going to be working under that loop only. Insert your hook in that first stitch. Don't include your chain stitch. And you're just going to slip stitch once again all the way across. Or single crochet or half double crochet if you have decided to switch it up a bit. So slip stitch all the way across. At the end, chain one, turn your work and we're going to repeat, working in the back loop only, slip stitch all the way across. At the end of each row, you should be having seven stitches. Now what you're going to do once you reach the end, chain one, turn your work, and you are going to repeat that slip stitch in the back loop only, of each stitch all the way across. You're going to repeat that until your band measures approximately 19 inches and that's not stretched out. So work your uh, back loop only slip stitching 
until it reaches 19 inches, then there's no need to fasten off or anything like that. Just meet me back here and we will join the two ends of our band together. Once you have your 19 inches of brim worked, you're going to take your two shorter ends and we're going to want to join them together. So you're going to place them over top of one another. You will not have fastened off. You're going to chain one. And you're then going to slip stitch in the back loop only of both pieces all the way across. So insert your hook in the back loop only over on the other piece the corresponding back loop only and then slip stitch. Do that all the way across. So back loop only, back loop only, and slip stitch. At the end of this little join you're going to have a total of seven slip stitches and you will have securely fastened those two shorter ends together. One more stitch to go here. Kind of hiding. There we go. Once you have reached the end, there's no need to fasten off. You can chain one. Turn your brim so that it's right side out and you'll have this nice seam there on the side. We're now going to work around this top end of the long edge of the brim and we're going to work evenly around 85 half double crochet stitches. So you're just going into the side of your brim. I, uh, I like to go down just a couple strands into the middle just to make sure that it's secure. You want to work 85. Now if you want to change the size of your hat, make it more snug or more loose, You'll need a multiple of five stitches at this point. So uh, if you're following the pattern exactly, you'll want to do 85 half double crochet stitches all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Once you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and do not turn your work. You're then going to chain three and this will count as a double crochet stitch and then double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way around. So double crochet in each stitch you'll have a total of 85 double crochet stitches all the way around including your chain three and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, so into the top of your turning chain. In round two, once you come all the way around, you're going to join with your slip stitch into the top of that first starting chain three. We are now ready to begin round three and we're going to start working our cable stitches. So for round three the first thing you're going to do is chain one and then around the same stitches joining so around that chain three you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch. To work a front post double crochet you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of that chain three. So and from the front, around the back, back out to the front again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That's your front post double crochet stitch. We're now going to start our first cable stitch. We're going to skip the next two stitches and work an extended double front post double crochet stitch over the next two stitches. 
To work our extended front post double crochet stitch, we're going to yarn over, skip those next two stitches, into that next stitch around the post, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through one loop on your hook, three loops left. Yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your extended front post double crochet stitch. You're going to do that one more time in the next stitch. Yarn over around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw a loop through. Yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. So you've now worked two extended front post double crochet stitches. Pulling your work forward so that you can see the stitches in back. We're now going to work in the two skipped stitches. So we have our front post double crochet but then we have two skipped stitches here and we're going to work a double crochet stitch into each of those. So yarn over, bring our hook back to that first skipped double crochet stitch and work a double crochet and repeat double crochet into the next skipped stitch. So this is what your work looks like. You're then going to go to the next unworked stitch. So skip over your two extended double crochets into that next unworked stitch. Work a front post double crochet. And that is your first start of your cable worked. We're now going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So to go through it again, skip the next two stitches. Into the next stitch, work an extended front post double crochet stitch. And then work one more into the next. Pull your work forward and now working into the two skipped stitches, work a double crochet into that first one and a double crochet into that second one. Jump ahead to the next unworked stitch and work a front post double crochet. Do that again all the way around. Skip the next two, work one extended front post in each of the next two stitches, pull your work forward and work one double crochet into each of the skipped stitches in behind your extended front posts. Jump ahead to your next unworked stitch and front post double crochet. Continue that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into that first front post double crochet stitch. I'm just coming all the way around here on my round three working my last cable the two double crochet stitches in behind. Once I've worked those, I then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first front post double crochet. That chain one at the beginning does not count as a stitch. So now this is what your work should look like. Next, we're going to begin round four. And round four, we're going to start off by chaining one. You will never turn your work in this pattern and you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch around that same stitch as joining. So work one front post double crochet stitch. We're now going to work a front post double crochet into each stitch 
all the way around. So all through these cable stitches, work front post, double crochets, all the way around. Make sure that you're not twisting them uh, at any point that you're working over those extended double crochets first and then into your regular double crochet stitches there. Um, just make sure none of them get twisted and you're just working front post double crochets all the way around. When you come to that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the stitch. At the end of round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. This is what your hat should look like so far. You are now going to, for the next 10 rounds, you're going to simply repeat rounds three and four. So your round three was the chain one, front post double crochet around that first stitch, skip the next two stitches, work an extended front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, pull your work forward, double crochet into each of the skipped stitches, working in behind, jump to the next unworked stitch and work a front post double crochet. Then repeat that all the way around. So that was your round uh, three and with this round you should really start to see that cable come out. So you're going to repeat that all the way around and then go back and repeat that round four with the front post double crochets all the way around. You're going to do that for ten rounds. So repeat round three and four five times and then meet me back here and we will begin our decrease rounds to form the top of our hat. Once you have worked to round 14 in your twisted cable beanie, you will have something that looks similar to this hopefully so you should have these nice long rows of twisted cables you've ended on a front post double crochet row and we are now around and we're now going to start our decrease rounds so for round 15 you will have chained one and you're going to start by skipping that first front post double crochet stitch then uh, you're going to immediately work, begin working your cable stitches. So skip the next two stitches, extended front post double crochet around the next stitch, and extended front post double crochet around the next. Then working in behind just as you did earlier in your cables, double crochet into each of the skipped stitches. Your cable is worked. You're then going to skip the next front post double crochet and skip the next two front post double crochets and work your next cable. So around the next stitch, extended front post double crochet, extended front post double crochet, pull your work forward and double crochet into each of those skipped stitches. And that's what you're going to do all the way around. So you're going to repeat that all the way around. Basically you are working your cables, skipping this front post double crochet that's in between each one. So again, skip the next front post double crochet and right away begin working your cable. You're going to do that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch 
into your first stitch. If you are finding that there's too big of a gap, just make sure that uh, that first extended front post double crochet, you're pulling it together nice and tight. So you shouldn't see too much of a gap in there. Okay, so continue all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you come all the way around, you're going to simply uh, slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, which should be your extended double crochet, front post double crochet stitch. Chain one, and we're now going to work front post double crochet stitches, uh, two togethers all the way around. So around those first two stitches, we're going to work our first front post double crochet two together. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of your first stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's the first leg of your front post double crochet two together. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. You're going to work those all the way around. So into your next two stitches, I'll show you once again, yarn over, insert your hook, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, finish the second leg by inserting your hook around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through three loops. Continue that all the way around and when you come back to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. When you return to the first stitch there in round 16, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first front post double crochet two together and chain one. We're now going to continue working cables. However, we're going to work them slightly differently now. First thing you're going to do is you're going to skip this first stitch this first front post double crochet two together and we're going to be working around the post the entire post of this next one you're going to work a front post double crochet cluster an extended front post double crochet cluster so to work this stitch you're going to yarn over insert your hook around the post which includes both of those legs of that front post double crochet two together yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, and yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to repeat that around the exact same stitch, so you still have two loops on your hook. You're going to do it again. Yarn over around the same stitch, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, draw up a loop, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through one loop, still four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you now have three, yarn over and pull through all three. That's your extended front post double crochet cluster. Then you're going to pull your work forward and into that skipped stitch back here, you're going to work a double crochet cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook 
into that stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. You're going to repeat that in the next cable. So start with your extended, skip the next stitch, extended front post double crochet cluster around the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Still two loops on your hook, you're going to repeat. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through three. Pull your work forward into that skipped stitch, work a double crochet cluster. Continue that all the way around and when you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round 17, when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that stitch and chain one. We're now going to front post, double crochet, two together all the way around. So into that first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook around the post, so that's the entire cluster. Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And around, yarn over and insert your hook around the post of the next cluster. Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. You're going to do that uh, around each cluster all the way around. This is going to bring your cables together once again. like so. So keep going all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round 18, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, chain one, you're now going to continue working front post, double crochet two together, this time working around the entire stitch of the front post, double crochet two together down below. So yarn over, insert your hook around that entire stitch of the first front post, double crochet two together, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, jump over to that next stitch, yarn over, Insert your hook around the post of the entire stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops left, yarn over and pull through all three. Continue to do that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of your round 19, you're actually going to have one uh, front post double crochet, two together left. So you're going to yarn over and just work one front post double crochet around that final stitch. Then you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And you're going to fasten off, leaving a fairly long tail. You can then set your crochet hook aside and we're going to, you'll have a little bit of an opening here at the top, we're going to sew that closed. So I like to turn my hat 
inside out. And you're going to take your yarn needle, thread your yarn through your yarn needle, and to sew the tops of my hat closed, I simply weave my yarn using that yarn needle in and out through the top stitches around the top of my hat. So I'm just weaving in and out all the way around and when I come back to that first stitch I'll pull it through and then I'm going to just pull it closed and it's just going to pull the top of my hat closed. Pull it fairly tight and then I just like to add one little knot there on the inside just to make sure that it is nice and secure. You can then weave in your ends or use the rest of this yarn to sew your pom-pom on top but turn your hat right side out. You'll have a nice sewn together top and you can add a palm to the top if you'd like either a full fur one as I have here or one of your own making and that's all there is to your twisted cable beanie so thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon until then happy crocheting Bye.